Hey guys, what's up? Seek of my house back again. Bidding you welcome, and I am on a time constraint, so this video will be filmed fairly quickly. <sighs> and there's a lot to get through, so I don't know, let's just start somewhere. Damn it. This thing sometimes works. You're supposed to put it in the sun, then it lights up. Yeah. Move that. Alright. A lot of this stuff I didn't get footage for, but I still am going to put in hunting footage for all of it, even though I found pretty much nothing in those footage, in that footage. So, we'll start with the one thing I did find in the footage. Ping pong, yay. It's another crappy plug and play. But it seems to have some original games on it, and some not so original games, so... Ah, I'll give it a play sometime. And, um, I'll do this first. I'll get all the video game stuff out of the way. I have a Master System 2, and I was wandering around the market, and I found this. And this is literally just a box for the Master System, as you can tell from how light it is. I really shouldn't bounce it about, I could damage it somehow, but this is cool and the guy only wanted $15 for it, I didn't even think to talk him down on it, I just pulled out 15 bucks and said I'll take it. And so now my master system has a box, awesome. Ah. That a random cash converters, I found a copy of... Halo 4 for $12, and I'll give this one a go, but I'm not that much into Halo. Still see some sticker residue. I'll probably trade this into EB Games. They'll probably give me a good 20 bucks for it, so... Yay, getting some money back. And, um, all of this stuff is CDI games, but a lot of them are just demo discs, so we have Mad Dog McCree. And it all came from a lot... With that CDI, it works like a champ. I have to hook it up to the vault converter so that it's not getting 220... So that it is getting 220 volts instead of the regular 240 that Australia makes. <sighs> so, let's do this. Mad Dog 2, and it did come with a gun. So I can't make the gun work because I haven't set it up properly. Hotel Mario. And altogether, this cost me around 400 bucks, which is a lot. A fuck ton a lot. But I've been wanting a CDI for just the longest time. I mean, I've always wanted to play the Zelda games, so... Zelda's Adventure! I'll show the actual games last. Drug Wars. Um, a lot of these I haven't played yet, that's why I'm not really saying anything about them. The Last Bounty Hunter. I played Mad Dog McCree though, it's kind of fun. Crime Patrol, there's a lot of memorization in it. Zelda The Wand of Gamelon. Link the Faces of Evil, this is the full version. I did give this a little bit of a play, absolutely atrocious. One of the worst games I have ever played, no joke. It, it, you hear bad things about it, but you don't know how bad it is unless you play it. For anyone who knows about the CD, I also got the video CD attachment so that I can watch thrilling things like Tina Turner Live in Rio, 1988. Uh, I will never watch this. <laughs> no offense, Tina Turner, but you are Tina Turner. Shark Alert! I imagine this is more of an environmental game. That animation <laughs> looks great. One of the main reasons I bought this is for the silly educational games. You know, that's why I collect a lot of PC games as well. Well, not a lot, but when I see them. And... Caesars World Gambling, an interactive electronic casino! Even Caesars Palace got its own video game. <laughs> Alright, that's all the CDI stuff, um, I'll show you the controllers. I got a standard three button pad, plus, um, I keep all of my controllers in boxes, 
It's just impossible to store them otherwise for me. Eh. I also got a kind of weird TV controller. That's kind of cool. And the gun for Mad Dog McCree and probably Drug Wars as well. I imagine I shoot people in Drug Wars. I hope I shoot people in Drug Wars. <laughs> I've always dreamt of shooting a drug addict. Alright. From a random Salvation Army just passing through. Didn't think to bring my camera in. Dead or Alive 4 for only... Three bucks. I know it's not worth much more than that. EB Games sells it for ten, but I don't know. I've heard Dead or Alive is a good series, and I have Dead or Alive Ultimate, so you know it exists. I will save this for last, and that is all of the video game stuff. So the rest of this is CDs, not CDs, um, videotapes. So if you you're interested in that, stick around. If you're not, buzz off. Um, my local thrift store, which you did see footage of, of a lifeline, finally came to their senses about their videotapes and prices them now at 10 for a dollar, so I just grabbed a bunch of ones that I thought might be interesting. Emperor's New Groove, David Spade has never been more annoying than he is in that film. South Park Volume 1, this has... Cartman gets an anal probe and Volcano, so first episode and second episode. Good series, really, really good series. Monty Python's Flying Circus. This is absolutely ludicrous. I couldn't even tell you, but there's a hostage situation in a bookstore and everyone is in on it. It's great. The original One Million Years BC, no idea why it was remade in 2008. But this is the original. Looks good, man. Looks good. Still really fun to watch. Batman and Robin. Popular to contrary belief. I actually really like this movie. Um, I like anything with Arnold Schwarzenegger in it, even Last Action Hero, so of course I'm going to love this. And George Clooney having... His, what was it, the bat credit card. <laughs> that was awesome. One that I bought on DVD, but now I finally have it on video. Soylent Green, it's people. Soylent Green is people. I didn't say there wouldn't be spoilers. I actually think the best scene in this movie is the scene where... Lay Taylor... I don't remember his name, but the really old guy who acts as Charlton Heston's librarian of sorts. The scene where he goes into the euthanasia facility, euthanasia facility, and Charles Heston is running to save him. Really good scene. It's Robin. Never mind Batman. And just for reference. That is the worst drawing of Robin I have ever seen. I could draw a better picture. <laughs> and they have it twice, so they must have felt proud of it in some way. Ugh. I got this on PS2 last week. Now I have it on video. Jimmy Neutron, boy genius. Genius. You know why I bought this? Patrick motherfucking Stewart as the alien. That's right, Nickelodeon got Patrick Stewart, Joan Picard himself, to voice an alien in this. That's quality. I'm saving this one for last because it's easily the coolest. And I did find three other videos for a dollar somewhere at that Salvation Army where I got... Dead or Alive, Three Kings! I've heard good things about it. I don't know. I think I saw a little bit of it. Doesn't this have... Um, they're in Iraq or something, and one guy's throwing footballs, and it sets off live grenades. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Batman of the Future. I actually really liked this series. And yes, I am stupidly into Batman. Shut up, Fat Mike. <laughs>
But this introduces a new villain, Ink. And as you can guess, her ability is to liquefy herself. Anything left in there? Nope. Which means, this is the coolest thing I've picked up in months. By far, just absolutely awesome. The amount of coolness this thing explodes, explodes, extrudes, extrudes? What's it called? It's good. The amount of coolness this thing sweats off of its hinges can 